still alive for the moment. No, it's not them. Oh god. Oh, they just broke it. Okay. He's still dead, which sucks. It's gone. What's happening now? It's not your fault. Yes, it is. I have failed this city. Yaofei. Shadow. Tommy. My father. My mother. It's not your fault. This might have happened All anyway. I wanted to do. You honored the dead by fighting. And you are not done fighting. I'll Listen to her. Me. The Count, the Glock King, the Chad, everyone who is trying to hurt the city, you stop them. And you will stop, Slade. I don't know how. Neither do I, but I do know two things. You are not alone, and I believe in you. You okay? That's some big explosions. Are they okay? Being a hero, where's she going now? That's the canary. Stay behind me. Oh, so they can be killed if you hit them in the right spot? Please tell me he's turned on Slade. Why should I trust you? Because, Oliver, I have the Murakuru cure. How did he pull that off? He just left it unattended. Uh, maybe this is obvious, but are we sure this isn't a trap? Not sure of anything, actually. No. I'm just saying, if you guys don't come back alive, I'm gonna be really pissed. It was my father's face that haunted me. No one cares about your backstory. Nobody cares. Just give him the cure and be done. He's not interested in killing you. Not until he's taken away everything and everyone you love. After he murdered my mother, he said one more person had to die. Whoever you love the most. I hope you can beat him with this. For all our sakes. You gave it to him, didn't you? I did what I felt was necessary. You're gonna really die now? Yeah, she's gonna kill him. Does he still have the cure? No. Slade, you betrayed. Goodbye, Mr. Blood. I loved this city. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> bye bye. I mean, I'm glad he gave Oliver the cure and stuff, but he needed to die. Let's try it on Roy first. We need to test it. We can't treat Roy like some kind of lab rat. What if it doesn't what? work? Don't what have a choice. We need to know. No. It's already broken okay. into. What are you looking for, kid? This. Well, they're taking up positions at the bridges and tunnels. Well, those are the only ways into the city. Yeah, and the only ways out. Are they gonna nuke the town? How did you get this number? Amanda. What are you doing? Not sure what you mean, Oliver. Men of the troops taking up position at the city's exits. They're not army, they're Argus. Those are your men. So mm. you tell me what you're up to. I cannot allow them to escape the city. They need to be I'm contained. Gonna send a... They're gonna bomb the fucking city. You can't. Strong number of carrying six GBU 43B bombs. Enough firepower to level the city. Men, I just need more time. I'm sorry. You have until dawn. Starling City is a crater. Yeah, you better start injecting. I don't have a choice now. Is she gonna do shoot him? 
Why? I'll shoot you. No, you won't. I will. I can see it in your eyes. My eyes. You're all I have left in this world. And you've lost everything, too. Leah. But you still have a father. You still have a Okay. <laughs> I'll be honest. I did not think she was going to shoot him. Oh, that's funny. Okay. All right. So that was the end of episode 22. Um, I enjoyed this episode a lot more than the previous one. Um, not that I didn't like the previous one. Just, I don't know. Um, but so this continued up where it left off. Uh, Laurel and Oliver got stuck under the rubble. Laurel shot Oliver's bow and was able to free herself. Uh, she is currently with her father and Sarah at the police station. Um, Lance was able to take out the um, guy that was in the police station by blowing him up with some grenades. Um, let's see, Blood got betrayed by Slade, which, you know, everybody in the world saw that coming except for Blood. And uh, that changed Blood's view on Slade, uh, even because he went to confront him about it and, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, so Blood stole the cure that they acquired and gave it to Oliver. And then Isabel showed up and killed him. And uh, that's okay with me. Um, I feel bad for the guy who was delivering the cure. I don't know if Felicity knew him or it was just a random courier. So I don't know. But... They had the cure, and Oliver was reluctant to use it against Roy because I think he's just scared that it's going to kill him or it's not going to work um, or whatever. But his hand was pretty much forced by Amanda because they're coming in to blow up the city to kill everyone in it uh, just to get all the people that Slade has uh, turned into his super soldiers, I guess. And kill Slade himself, hopefully. But I get it. I understand. I mean, she has a point. You don't want them getting out. But she's given Oliver a time frame. He has to get it done by dawn. So I get it. Doesn't mean I like it. I don't think you should blow up a city of people to get a few, you know? And I, I feel that way about the real world as well. So, I don't know. I get it. I'm not mad at her about it. I mean, I'll be mad if it actually happens. <laughs> Which I doubt. I don't think that they would blow up Starling City. Um, not right now, anyway. It's only season two. So, I don't know. Uh, Felicity gave Oliver another pep talk about not quitting. Keep fighting. That he's defeated all these people and he will win against Slade. They don't know how, but, you know, you just try. So, I love that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Sarah knows that Laurel knows about her identity. And she was calling herself irredeemable like she's been doing. But Laurel has convinced her that she is redeemable. And has put the word out <laughs> that she's the canary. So I guess that's maybe going to be a thing. Unless Slade kills Sarah, then, you know. I'm trying to figure out who Oliver loves the most. Because that's what Blood said, that, you know, Slade said that... Oliver said that there was one more person that needed to die. And Blood said, it's whoever you love the most. So Slade's not even trying to kill Oliver. At all. He just wants to hurt him very badly. Like, emotionally, I guess. Um, 
So the only other person I can think of that he loves is his sister. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's people that he likes, okay, or loves on different levels. He's got his sister. He's got Diggle and Felicity and Laurel and Sarah. So who in Slade's mind does Oliver love the most? I would say Sarah because he picked Sarah over Shadow, you know. So it would make sense that Slade would think it is Sarah. But I don't know. I mean, obviously, Slade knows Shadow's not really there because he said he wished Shadow was there, right? So how come when he's seeing Shadow and she's talking to him, telling him to do all these awful things, he's, he's doing it even though he's not, he knows it's not really, I don't know, whatever. Whatever, this storyline needs to end. <sighs> so anyway, I'm hoping it ends. I hope they don't carry this out through another season. So the next episode I'm going to watch is the finale. And I'm not sure if I'm watching season three, episode one, or Flash season one, episode one first. I'm not sure. I have a list. I will check it before I watch. But I'm not sure which one I'm supposed to watch first or if it even matters. I don't know. But anyway, um, I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. Can't wait for the finale. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.